In another video, we demonstrated how to search for and retrieve documents in the LSS E64 document management system. In this video, I'll show you how to save those documents, emails, and PDF files into LSS E64 in the first place. There are actually several different ways to save a file, and I'll go through each of them briefly one at a time. Here we have a Word document that I just opened from my desktop. This could also be a new document that I just typed. To save a document in Word, just press the LSS Save button up here in the toolbar. The profile screen appears with the date, my initials, and the document subject already pre-filled. All I need to do is add a client number, matter number, and a document type. I'm going to choose letter, client 136, matter 05, and press save as new. That's all there is to it. So this document is now saved and the corresponding profile data has been stored and indexed in the search database. Let's take just a minute and go back to review some of the other options when saving a file. I'm going to click LSS Save again. Now, since this is an existing document already in LSS, I can make changes to the, the document and now we have the ability um, to either replace the existing document, save this as a completely new document, or actually save this as a new version to the existing uh, document. Over here we have a copy last profile button. This is useful when saving many documents for the same client matter number. You just press this button and the system will copy in uh, the document type client matter and other information from the last profile that you just saved so you don't have to uh, keep retyping that information. The Favorites toolbar and this Favorites tab right here and here allow you to save profile templates containing whatever information you fill in on this screen. These templates can then be reused at any time just by selecting it from this pull down list. So if you're somebody uh, who is frequently going to be saving documents for the same uh, client and matter number, you can create a favorite that has that client and matter number in it already. When saving the document, just select it from the favorites. Down here you'll notice uh, that any of the fields that request a code of some sort, like a timekeeper, document type, client, and so on, also have a lookup button next to the field. Just click on that button and you get a list of codes to choose from. We'll cover that in another video where we demonstrate these lookups in great detail. On the Notifications tab, you specify a list of users uh, to be notified by email when this document is saved, replaced, or deleted. These notifications can be pre-assigned at the client and matter level or assigned here as a one-time event. It's totally optional. You don't have to assign notifications. And on the Permissions tab, you can assign document security restrictions. And we cover that uh, in detail in another video. So that's how we save a document from Word and the details of all the options available on this screen. Now let's take, it, take a look at some other ways to save files. Let's start with Outlook. I'm going to move some of these things out of the way and move in an email. Here, here I have an email that was received today and I want to save it in LSS. So just like in Word, you'll find an LSS Save button right up here in the, in the Outlook ribbon. Press this button and the save screen appears, just like we saw demonstrated with Word. The only difference is with an email, the system can automatically pre-fill the sender and the recipient fields over here on the right. So what about other types of files? I'm going to move Outlook out of the way and bring this screen in. This is a screen you might recognize from the search video. This is the LSS Search Console. From here, you can press the Import button up at the top here to browse to any folder and select any type of file to save in LSS. Here, I'll select a PDF. And again, you get the same uh, document save screen that we saw in Word uh, and in Outlook. I'm going to cancel out of this and uh, show you another way to save a file. While we're here, let's use this drag drop zone panel to do the same thing. Rather than clicking on import and browsing out to a folder to select a file, you can just drag a file or, or many files all at once right onto this panel. So I'm going to take this Word document, drag it right onto the panel. As soon as I let go of the mouse, the save screen appears. And it's pre-filled with whatever information we had filled, on, uh, it filled in on the search screen behind it. This is great when you have to import large groups of documents for any particular client or matter. I'm going to cancel out of here and also show you that you can do the same thing from Outlook. So I'm going to bring my inbox over here 
and here's an email in my inbox. I can just use the mouse to drag it right onto the panel and get the same uh, save screen. It's that easy. And there's still one more way to save files using, uh, using a monitored folder. Uh, I'm going to move all this out of the way and show you this right here. LSS can be configured to watch up to 20 folders of your choice, and each folder can even be assigned a default template, save template, so that when certain folders um, uh, receive a file, it'll autofill the save screen with things like the client matter number document type. This folder uh, right here on my desktop is one of these monitored folders, and I can just drag a file, or, or again, a group of files into that folder, and as soon as I do, the save screen appears. And this works with Outlook email as well. So that pretty much covers the basics of saving files in LSS. I moved through these options quickly and probably skipped a few things that you would find useful. If you have any questions or would like a live one-on-one -on -one demonstration of any part of LSS E64, please give us a call at 800-331-4122. Thanks for watching.